Okay, I'm gonna do a video refuting the incomplete gospel of this guy called Jack Smack 77. In this video, he is basically a typical satanic non-dispensationalist basing doctrine off one verse, and he won't compare scripture with scripture. And you're gonna see he goes into this little demonic frenzy and this demonic ranting in his video, just yelling and, and it, it, it's insane. But his whole point of the video was that Basically, he's trying to say you can get saved off one verse, John 3.16, which is pretty heretical. Okay, let's get right into refuting this. Okay, this sermon is entitled, Anyone who teaches that you can't be saved in the book of John is a stupid fool. I'd like to open up with prayer. And then with a few verses, all right, dear God, thank you for giving us your clear word. Thank you for allowing us to see what it says. Bless the listeners. I ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Psalm 98 reads, Oh, sing unto the Lord a new song. For he hath done marvelous things, his right hand and his holy arm hath gotten him the victory. The Lord hath made known his salvation, his righteousness hath he openly shewed in the sight of the heathen. He hath remembered his mercy and his truth toward the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Now there are a bunch of false prophets out there, a bunch of stupid devils, stupid retards, who teach that you can't be saved in the book of John. So that right there is one of the big lies he tells in the video, where people who preach the full gospel are not are saying, oh, we can't get saved in the book of John. I've never said that. I use the book of John all the time to give a gospel plan. But the thing is, too, what the point is, what the point I'm trying to make is that you don't base salvation, your whole gospel, off one verse. Okay? You don't just base doctrine off one verse. You compare scripture with scripture. See 1 Corinthians 2.13. So doctrine is never based off one, one or two verses. When it comes to the gospel, you're not just looking for one verse. You're comparing scripture with scripture, something these non-dispensational heretics never do. Yeah. Continuing. And these are a bunch of hyper-dispensationalistic fools who say that you can only be saved through the Pauline epistles, through, you know, 1 Corinthians chapter 15. And, you know, obviously that is the gospel. But the Bible's very clear that in the book of John, the salvation is laid out in a plethora of verses, and the whole purpose of John was to tell the lost how to be saved. So you'd have to be an absolute stupid, probably unsaved, retarded fool to teach this garbage. Okay, what's going on is that belief is indeed part of the gospel. Because he's going to say all you got to do is just believe and that's it. Belief is part of the gospel, absolutely. But again, you don't base your whole gospel off one verse, okay? There's more details about the gospel given in other scriptures outside of the book of John. Okay, I'm not saying you can't get saved through the book of John. Obviously, the book of John does contain a lot of verses that mirror Paul. Okay, But, for example, repentance is not defined in John 3.16. Repentance is defined in the context of salvation in 2 Corinthians 7, 8-10. So again, when you're looking for the salvation, you're not basing one verse. You're, okay... 2 Corinthians 7, 8 to 10 is about repentance. It defines what repentance in the context of salvation is. And John 3, 16 talks about belief. So again, you, you don't just base it off one verse. That's a typical what non-dispensational heretics do. Continuing. And you know what? These people are, are not even worth spitting on. Anyone who believes that you can't be saved in the book of John needs to call poison control right before they you know chug a 12-ounce cup of battery acid mixed with but trachotoxin, because these people are a bunch of illiterate fools. They can't read. They don't understand what the clear Bible teaches. Let's take a look at the purpose statement in John chapter 20. It reads in verse 30, And many other signs truly did Jesus in the presence of his disciples, which are not written in this book, but these are written that ye might believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing ye might have life through his name. What these people are teaching is that that's not enough. You need more information. You need um, Yeah, you do need more information, okay? There is a lot of information in the Gospel of John. Absolutely. The Gospel of John, I do believe, is written to Christians. It's transitioning from under the law to under the grace. Again, something non-dispensational heretics can't understand. But there are details about the Gospel that are not found in John. For example, I showed repentance last time. For example, the Gospel is defined in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. It's not defined in John 3, 16. So when you're looking for who to, how to define the gospel, he even says earlier, well, 1 Corinthians 15 is the gospel, but then he kind of contradicts it and says, oh, gospel of John is all you need. He's all over himself. But there's details given in other portions of scripture. Again, 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4 defines the gospel. John 3, 16 doesn't do that. So, again, the mess you get yourself into, continuing. 
You need more details. You need more facts. You need more, you know, minutia when it comes to the gospel. And they're basically saying that God is a liar. He can't save, you know, a person who believes on Jesus Christ for salvation. And these people are a bunch of devils who need to be marked and avoided. They don't even believe the clear message of John 3.16. And again, like I said before, belief is part of the gospel. But again, where's repentance? Where's God the sorrow for your sins? A good example is Luke chapter 18, verses 9 to 14. It gives a good example of God the sorrow for sins. Okay? Where does the book of John define repentance? Okay? So when you're looking for the definition of repentance, again, you're not going to the gospel of John. And when it comes to salvation is not by your works, again, John 3.16 does not mention salvation is not by your works. That is mentioned in Ephesians 2, 8, 9, Romans 3, 26, 28, Romans 11, 6, 2 Timothy 1, 8 to 9, and Titus 3, 5, among other scriptures. So there's details given in the Pauline epistles that are not given in the Gospel of John. That's what he doesn't understand. No one's saying you can't get saved through the book of John. The book of John does contain verses that can be used in the Gospel message. Absolutely. John 3, 16 is a good verse to use in the Gospel message. But you don't base your whole plan of salvation off John 3, 16. Just like how you don't base it off Ephesians 2, 8, 9. You go through the scriptures and show you're a sinner, you deserve hell, you can't save yourself, Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven. That's simple. So, he's all over himself. He's uh, into all kinds of heresy. Continuing. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. By saying that that's not enough to save you, and that the, the book of John was written for the Jews, or it's the kingdom gospel, which is a bunch of stupidity, because there's only one gospel. These people are basically saying that John 3.16 is not true. Again, these little straw man arguments. No one's saying that John 3.16 is not true. He's saying, well, they're saying John 3.16 is not true. No one's saying that. John 3.16 is part of the gospel, but you don't only use John 3.16 to present the gospel. That's where he's going wrong. He's making the straw man argument of, oh, you all you need is John 3.16, and people who say you know, don't use John 3.16 alone, are denying John 3.16. No one's doing that. We're just saying you don't need John 3.16 alone. Because again, where's repentance? He's preaching a repentance-less gospel. Where's the repentance? Where's the God that's over your sins? There's none of that. Again, these, these easy, easy believers and heretics. And again, I do believe salvation is easy. Obviously, salvation is a free gift, according to Romans chapter 5, verses 15 and 18. Salvation is a free gift. God's grace is a free gift. But belief is only one part of the gospel. You believe... There's also repentance. What about calling upon the name of the Lord? There's no mention of that in John 3.16. That's mentioned in Romans 10, 9 to 13. So you look for other details in other scriptures. You know, insanity. And he goes and talks about, oh, there's only one gospel. Again, what's the gospel of the kingdom? Because these non-dispensational heretics think that we're preaching the gospel of the kingdom today. The gospel of the kingdom uh, was preached to the Jews by Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ was sent to the Jews. Okay? Jesus Christ was preaching the gospel of the kingdom to the Jews. He was presenting the kingdom of heaven to the Jews. The kingdom of heaven is the physical earthly kingdom. You can see Matthew chapter 11, verse 12, and Matthew chapter 8, verse 11 on that. Okay, so the kingdom of, of the gospel of the kingdom is not the same gospel we preach today. But again, non-dispensational heretics can't understand that. So, it's, don't be deceived by this, this Jack Smack 7-7 seven, seven guy. I've seen some of his stuff. He, he's pretty heretical. Uh, he's, he's right in some points. Other points, he's just totally off. So don't be deceived by this easy believism heresy. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.